News. Welcome back. Later this month, you, me, anyone watching is invited to an event aiming to stop a form of cancer that continues to be quite scary for women. There is no test to detect ovarian cancer and treatment options are very limited, which is why fundraisers to help raise money for research are crucial. Joining me now is Becky Drexler. She is a Minnesota Ovarian Cancer Association board member and a ovarian cancer survivor. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Tell us a little bit about your story. You're from White Bear Lake, uh, but when did you first get diagnosed? What is the backstory about you being diagnosed with this form of cancer? Yes. Uh, it was in July of 2018 that um, I was diagnosed, which was just 10 months after my best friend passed away from ovarian cancer. So I was aware of the symptoms and started having some of the same ones that she was having of frequent urination, um, uh, bloating, and but I just thought, you know, nothing about it. But then something in me said I should have this checked out and unfortunately I was diagnosed with stage three. Um, I went through surgery, uh, six rounds of chemo um, and continued to do well until 2020 when I had a recurrence. So I had another surgery and some more treatment and now I'm on a maintenance uh, treatment therapy. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry yeah. about your friend. Yeah, um, thank you. But how are you doing now? I'm actually doing fairly well. I'm back to you know doing things that I love to do, traveling with my husband and gardening when the weather <laughs> cooperates, um, and volunteering for MoCA, which is a, obviously an important organization for me um, and family. Yeah, and MoCA has contributed so much in their fundraising efforts and the money they've contributed toward eventually finding something to get rid of this for good. And you're actually on, you mentioned the um, the maintenance that you're on. That's, that's due to some of the research. Talk a little bit about that all that MOCA has done. Yeah, so MOCA is actually a, a, one of the national leaders in funding ovarian cancer research. Uh, to date, um, MOCA has funded um, almost $11 million uh, looking to help researchers look for better treatments such as the PARP inhibitor that I'm currently on that wasn't available to my best friend when she was dealing with um, ovarian cancer. And the other real important area that we are looking at is um, trying to support early detection so that women um, at an earlier point in their disease were, um, would get diagnosed and um, and hopefully have better outcomes. Yeah, that is absolutely the goal. So tell us about the gala, because this is a fancy affair, lots of teal. Yes. <laughs> teal <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell us about the gala and what people can expect, because it is um, coming up uh, later in April, April 15th. Yep, so correct? yep. And so tickets still available? Yep, there are limited tickets available. The event um, it will be happening on Saturday, April 15th at the Hyatt Regency in downtown Minneapolis. Um, it's a very fun, um, inspiring event. We have a silent auction. This year we're adding some games with some prizes, which will be, I think, a lot of fun for people to be engaged more. Um, we have a uh, raffle for baskets. Um, and then, of course, we have our dinner and uh, program that will um, have live music and, um, and our silent auction, which can get pretty fun to sit and watch uh, as that happens. But uh, we, as I said, there are tickets still available if people are interested and uh, they can go to mnovarian.org um, for, for that. And we're hoping to raise more money for research uh, and the programs that uh, MOCA has for survivors. Yeah, which is really good and really important for yeah. all of the, the folks connected and family members too that are helping yes. um, people get through this. All right, Becky, thank you so much. And thank you. again, you can go to the website for tickets, still available, but it's good that we have a little bit of time uh, before that event yes. coming up April 15th. Yes, join us, please. Thank you, yeah. yes, and happy healing to you. Thank Glad you, to appreciate it very much. Alex